Hello everybody, my name is Lila Major, aka Shovel Pla Shovel Plate. God. <laughs> I'm still trying to <clears throat> wake up from a nap, which I took right after finishing recording the first episode. So this is being recorded right after because I thought why not? I want to give you guys content. I should have probably redownload Wolfenstein soon. Um So we are recontinuing where we left off. We have to find a way to the drugstore. Oh, examine. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Oof. Hey, hang on. Wait, like the good stuff? Take. I don't know what we got. Central High Take State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs nice. Two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Uh. Hi? Lolly's just here staring at me. Can I help you? You know there's no food, right? You're a pretty good shot. Hi. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah, can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> nice. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm still looking for batteries for Oh, I was just saying that. Thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, giddy doggy. Better get back to it. Yep. Oh, giddy doggy fam. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Yikes. Dang, this seems like a regular day in Florida. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? Just one stuck under her I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up, and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh. Oh, I did not mean. Hey, man, what are you doing? 
We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Sorry, my dude. It's a combination lock. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hand on that side. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at Lee oppressing our fellow gamer. <laughs> Gamers rise up. I really need- okay, I'm sorry. I need to shut up. I knew some folks here. Seems like as good a place as any. Oh. Friends? Family? They around? Family. But it doesn't seem like it. I can't reach that brick. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. See, gamers, you come in handy. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Hear the emergency alert system tones. But not enough. I can't reach that brick. think we're safe here. Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and locks up well. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad. Yeah, that guy. Kind of a dick. Or kind of. Kind of. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Well, I don't know what else to do. Let's head back inside. Okay. I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. No, I have nothing. 
You want pet? Want me to pet you? Yes. Caught her this morning trying to take off her collar. Like really, she put her paw through the collar and was trying to take it off. You want up on the couch? Nah. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. I panicked. There were worse plans, says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. So we, can have we just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Yeah, we know. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Um, yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. 
I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell. Well, it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I Stay. just gave you huh? food. Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for I you. got two more. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. <laughs> despite the circumstances. Yep. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Well, sit tight. Okay. The pills are in there. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. All right, so this is the office where apparently they found Lee's parents. Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. Oh. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. 
You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Ooh. Okay, sorry. That was a major voice crack right there. That actually kind of hurt. <clears throat> How you doing? Okay. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Technically, Can Carly did. Do that okay. more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for. Them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Uh -oh. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. This door leads to the back alley. What's that? I think that's a cane. This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with him. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. I just want to see if there's anything else. Get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> you don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? Don't kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies? My friend Alfred has peanut allergy. But you who? I think so. Okay, here we go. I hope so. <clears throat> Not so sure EpiPens are gonna be a common thing to find. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah.
Might as well be honest with her. I am. I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? It, it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Okay. I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. A little? I'll find you a bandage. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. My parents come home and I'm not there. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. From Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe oh, not so the sick guy. Oh, it's just the same thing. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It yeah. Tried to can get I me. not skip? Okay. Well, but you this stopped is it. all my fault. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Nothing I need in here. All right. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Oh, was he bad? He was. Hey there, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and... Well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the roaming ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? 
I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Oh. Okay, but. Oh, hey, batteries. Nice, I think. Yeah, nice. Try to get some rest, hun. Where's How Carly? can I with those things Where out the hell there? Where's Carly? There's Carly. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. to do that. You fixed it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones... God bless you all. Yikes. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. I guess let's go. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Not now. All right. Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Oh, 
Oh boy. Gotta go into my evil within stealth mode. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. It all goes. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Go on, take it. It's a spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Okay, then. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stun these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. I heard it was porcelain in those. That could scramble brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, 
Look at you missing an arm. Flap. Oh. Dang, alright. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you oh. two done? Two more. That should help. You guys like not gonna follow me? All right. Uh. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. I'm not even okay. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine i won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find you have a boyfriend when i don't want that it's not christian please just leave me please go What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know, that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step I can back. understand where it's she's coming from, two but... seconds, just one bullet, and I can be choice. with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up! Please! Take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Let's get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Damn. I mean, I understand how she didn't want to become them, and you know, it was her choice, but... I didn't want to make the decision for her. 
Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Oh, that was a burp. Sorry. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Yikes. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Why the heck not? Let's have a look around. Okay. as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. I can't reach that brick. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. I can't reach that brick. Oh my god. Let's head back inside. Okay. Can you... okay. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to... Take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. All right. How you doing, Glenn? You know. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I am also really sorry. I guess she really wanted that gun. 
Seems like. Yeah, no shit. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Would you have given it to her? No way. Then you know why. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyways, I was gonna say sorry I'm not talking too much. I'm really, really into this because I really love this, but I love it, but yet I don't because it's kind of sad, but yet, you know. I don't know what else to do. Or not. mind I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse you got it take a break to see how long the recordings are going on and also look up what I need to do. Apparently the recordings has been going on for 53 minutes so I'm gonna just end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. I will continue this very soon. Sorry for not talking so much. I, I'm really getting into this and it's mostly dialogue and I don't want to interrupt anything really. Even though there's subtitles but hope you guys can understand. <laughs>